Hello to the Grace Lutheran Church family and everyone beyond. We are all God's children. That means we are all related. Thank you for joining Pastor Ben and me for children's worship today. Let's go ahead and get started with our welcoming song, which is, Here we are, gathered together, praising God whose love is forever. God's love is a treasure for us all. Sharing God's love is our call. Pick up a scarf or something that you can wave around and dance with. Let's go. Here we are gathered together praising God whose love is forever. God's love is a treasure for us all. Sharing God's love is our call. All right, so our theme song is Welcome All, and it is based on the tune This Old Man, which is an old tune, and it sounds like this. La 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 All right, so now let's learn the words. Welcome here, welcome there. You say that. Welcome here, welcome there. Welcome people everywhere. Welcome people everywhere. And we're going to go on to the chorus because the verses in the chorus are very short. Make new friends wherever you may go. Make new friends wherever you may go. Welcome all for God says so. Welcome all for God says so. Let's try that together. Welcome here, welcome there. Welcome people everywhere. Make new friends wherever you may go. Welcome all for God says so. All right, the rest of the song. Love here, love there. Love here, love there. Love people everywhere. Love people everywhere. We go into the chorus. The last verse is family here, family there. Family here, family there. All God's family everywhere. All God's family everywhere. And then we go into the chorus. That's it. You'll see the word scrolling at the bottom. Let's get started. Hmm. Ah, if I were choosing a different instrument other than the guitar, I might choose a castanet or something that I can tap together. Welcome here, welcome there. Oh, it sounds like a happy sound. And this is a happy song. Let's go. what Pastor Ben is going to talk about today. Let's find out. I love you all. Have a grace-filled day. And here is Pastor Ben. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, it's so true. Jesus loves us very much. The Bible tells us that very thing. Good morning. It is so wonderful to worship with you this morning. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. You are a gift, a gift to your family, a gift to all those who know you, a gift to this church. This morning, I'm thinking a lot about how we welcome people. It is really important that we as people, and especially as Christians, welcome others into our lives and into our church. And so this morning, I brought something from home that I wanted to show you today. I wonder, can you see that? We keep this up on the wall next to our front door. 
Can you see the words on it? It says, welcome. Then down here, it says our last name, Kiefer. And can you see what's right there in the middle? That's right, it's a great big pineapple. I wonder, why is there a pineapple on this sign? Well, this is a sign designed to welcome people when they come into our home. But still, why a pineapple? Well, I looked it up this week, and it turns out that a long time ago, when explorers were landing on new islands and meeting the people that lived there, the people didn't have welcome mats or anything like that. Instead, people on these islands would place a pineapple by the entrance of their home. It was a symbol of welcome, or what we might call hospitality. That's kind of a big word, isn't it? Hospitality. Hospitality really just means welcoming people. Now, it also turns out that these things were named pineapple in English because these explorers thought that they looked like pine cones, but then the fruit inside reminded them of an apple. So, pineapple. Just that simple. And when these sailors returned home, they brought with them pineapples. And the symbol spread, and it became a custom to have the shape of a pineapple or a picture of one at the entrance of your home to show hospitality or welcome. Welcoming others is a really important theme in the Bible. Today, our first reading from the book of Acts, we hear about a woman named Lydia. Now, I just love that name, don't you? Lydia, in Acts chapter 16, was a very special woman, and she showed hospitality to Paul and his companions by welcoming them into her home. This is what Christians are asked to do, to welcome others just as they are, and to love them and to care for them. Of course, when we do this, we remember that Jesus welcomes all of us into his family and into our best lives and into never-ending life. Today is a special day at our church as we welcome new members, and maybe we won't give all of them a pineapple, but this symbol today will help us to remember that we are so excited to welcome people into the church and into our lives so that we can work together and be followers of Jesus. Let's pray together. Oh God, thank you so much for pineapples, for all the ways that we remember that you have first welcomed us and how we should welcome others into our lives and into our church. We give you thanks for our celebration today and ask that you would bless us and be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a wonderful week.